بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الخلق والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم هذا العام كان عام استثنائي بمعنى الكلمة عام يمكن من آخر ثمان أسابيع في المدارس والدراسة توقفت هل نحن توقفنا؟ لم نتوقف أبدا بل كان لنا تجربة كبيرة جدا وتجربة مهمة جدا وهي تجربة التعلم عن بعد تجربة التعلم عن بعد كانت جاءت تجربة فجائية لم يكن هناك تدريب كافي عليها لم يكن حتى من المتوقع أن يحدث هذا المعلم بطبيعته في فصل وفي مدرسة وفي أمام طلاب أما التعلم عن بعد فكان في بعض الأخوة يقومون به يعني خارج النطاق المدرسي في مع بعض طلابهم لكن لما بدأت الجائحة الأخيرة وبدأ الطلاب يغيبوا من المدارس كان لابد من تعويض عملية الغياب يعني عملية المناهج الناقصة أثناء الغياب بعملية التعلم عن بعد أو الريبوت ليرنينج تبارى كل المعلمين حقيقة من كافة التخصصات ومن جميع التخصصات لكي يقدموا كثير من ال الموضوعات والفيديوهات المختلفة عن ال يعني لتعويض أو لتكميل البرامج التعليمية بتاعته كان فيه ضغط كبير جدا ضغط من الإداريين ضغط من المشرفين ضغط من الإدارة ضغط من أولياء الأمور لكن المعلم الحقيقي هو المعلم الذي يعمل تحت الضغط هو المعلم الذي يعمل مهما كانت الظروف كانت تجربة الأول أن كل معلم يقدم جزء للمرحلة ولكن هذه لم تستمر كثيرا لأنه طبعا أثبتت التجارب أن كل معلم مع طلابه يكون أفضل وبالفعل بدأ كل معلم مع طلابه في تجربته الجديدة وفي تجربته المثيرة ل يعني للتعلم عن بعد بدأنا نستعمل برامج زي برنامج زوم مثلا كان في برامج أخرى لا أذكرها قبله لكن أيضا لم تنجح لأنها كانت تقيل على الأجهزة شوية وبدأنا نستعمل برامج أذكر منها برنامج زوم واللي كان العالم كله يعني يعني بيستعملوا في هذه الظروف ولا يزال طبعا بدأنا البرنامج بدأنا التسجيل وكان الطلاب فيه لخبطة شوية لكن خطوة خطوة بدأ الطلاب يتفاعلوا معانا على البرامج المختلفة بدأوا يتفاعلوا معانا على برنامج زوم بدأوا يتعاملوا معانا بشكل أكثر من ممتاز وبدأت العملية التعلم قدمنا بصراحة عروض كثيرة جدا يعني يمكن شايفينه الفيديوهات كل الفيديوهات ده هي دي جزء بسيط جدا من اللي قدم كل واحد بيحتفظ بعض الفيديوهات كان جزء بسيط جدا من اللي الفيديوهات اللي قدمت والفيديوهات اللي, اللي, اللي احنا آه بدأناها مع طلابنا واشتغلنا عليها مع طلابنا كنا بنقدم عروض مثلا آه نفتح مثلا عرض معين آه من الكتاب المدرسي أو من آه آه أماكن أخرى 
يعني كتاب المدرسه كان احد الوسائل التعليميه لكن لم يكن لعب مدرسه هو مثلا فيديو بسيط افتحوا عن طريق هذا البرنامج اهو آه الفيديو يمكن اخر آه. آه. شوف شوف ده ده نوع من نوع البرامج اللي كنا بنشتغل عليها مثلا شوف قد ايه ال 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 الابداع الابداع اللي كان في البرامج المختلفه اللي احنا بنقدمها آه كان في ايضا عروض باوربوينت كثيره جدا مره عروض باوربوينت كثيره جدا جدا آه كنا بنستعملها كان يمكن برنامج الباوربوينت من اهم البرامج اللي كنا آه متفاعلين معاها كثير يعني مرة كثير بصراحة لأنه كان برنامج جيد جيد جدا يعني أعتقد لو فتحنا كذا شايفين هو أحد البرامج مثلا عن asking opinion أو عن آه عن asking opinion مثلا نفتح البرنامج ده هو عرض من عروض الباوربوينت شوف قد إيه كان المدرس بيبذل مجهود عشان يوصل ويوصل ل يستخدم الباوربوينت ويستخدم العروض اللي هي كانت في الـ 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 هذه الحلقه ان شاء الله سوف نقدم حصه كامله بعد فاصل قصير نقدم حصه كامله من الحصص التي قدمت في هذه في هذه الفتره ان شاء الله رب العالمين نتمنى انها يعني تنال رضاكم واعجابكم طبعا انا كمعلم لغه انجليزيه يعني معظم الحوار كل الحوار طبعا باللغه الانجليزيه وكان كل واحد في مجال تخصصه بيحاول يتقن على قدر ما يستطيع ان شاء الله في الدقائق القليله القادمه سوف ان شاء الله نترككم في مع هذا الفيديو ف ان شاء الله نتقابل مع هذا الفيديو الان Do you hear me? Please write to me if you hear me. Do you hear me my friends? Okay, thank you uh, Muhammad Sharani, thank you Faiz, thank you Abdullah Asadun. Um, I'm really happy just to be with you today. I hope that I have come time, okay? And I hope that all of you are enjoying good health and having happy life forever. My friends, okay, thank you for participating, my friends. Okay, of course, our subject, as you see here, is English, okay, my friends? We are going. We are going to discuss Unit Eleven, Lesson Two, which is vocabulary, and class book page. Of course, I am your teacher, Adil Al Hawari, is the one who is talking to you. Class book page, class book page one hundred and ten. Vocabulary lesson. Of course, we are going to discuss the words, and we are going to discuss. Uh, the lesson in general. Yesterday, Mr. Ali started with you the first part about Sami people. Okay, my friends, now I'm waiting for more participants to come and chair. Here is, okay, I, I, I see some, some people writing chats here. Yes. Okay. Al-Walid Fahad wa alaykum salam Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm waiting for more participants to come. Just a few minutes, just to start exactly. Yeah, now it's 11 o'clock, exactly, frankly. So I have to go on. I have to continue. Okay, it's a good number now. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. The subject is English. Unit. 11 lesson 2 i am 
teacher Adel Hawari speaking to you. Class book page 110. Please, my friends, be ready with your class books. And I think it's much better to uh, go now to a, a game, okay, before starting our lesson, just to enable most of the students to participate. Yeah, let's start. Now I have a very fine idea. Yesterday we discussed uh, about clothes and about the color, the different colors of clothes. And uh, we discussed about animals. Okay, Mr. Ali discussed the different animals the Sami people used to keep, and especially Renda. And Mr. Ali also discussed the kind of clothes and the color of clothes they used, uh, or they are used to wearing, frankly. So my friends, let's start now this short game, okay? I call it washing day or laundry, as you like, call it as you like. The idea is that we have here some different pieces of clothes and we are going to put them in the washing machine here. Here is we have red, wood, uh, red button, blue and green one okay now this is the power when i press the power button of course the machine is going to work so let's play my friends okay i'm going you i'm going to give you instructions take the blue sweaters take the blue sweater where is the blue sweater? Yeah, I think it's a blue sweater here. Choose hot water. Hot water here is in red. Okay, turn on the power. Yeah, I'm turning on the power. Now it's working. So now what is the color of the sweater here? Great teacher, it's blue. What is the color of this bottom when it's working on? It's green, here is red, here is blue. The power here is white. And what are we are doing now? We are washing the blue sweater. So we can discuss a lot of topics together. Great, next. Next, my friends. Take the purple dress. Where is the dress here? Yeah. I think it's the dress. Okay. Okay. Choose cold water. Cold water here at the blue button. Turn on the power. Yeah. And now we are washing which dress? We are washing the purple dress. Fantastic game, frankly. I like it so much. Next, I remind you that we are revising colors, we are revising clothes, we are revising present continuous, okay? We are washing now. Okay, my friends, next, instruction. Take the Yulu coat. Where is the Yulu coat? I think it, this is the Yulu coat. Choose hot water. Hot water means I have to press on the red button, red button here, then turn on the power. I have to turn on the power like this. Okay, now the machine is working and we are, what are we doing? What are we doing? We are washing the, which coat? I forgot, the YOLO coat. Exactly. So we have now the color is okay, yellow. Here is it's green. And now we have a coat and we are washing. Okay, my friends, I like this. Is there if there are any Okay. Hello Mansoor. 
hello okay hello all view if there are any uh, mistakes if you don't listen to the sound please write to me hello my friends okay I like you all as you like me okay my friends now next next we have instructions take the red t-shirt this is the first step yeah this is a red t-shirt choose hot water I have to press in which button the the red button okay then what's what is the next step I have to turn on the power so I am washing now the red t-shirt okay frankly I thought of revising clothes colors and uh, present continuous uh, in, in a one topic so I, I choose this kind of games okay next instruction take the skirt you know the skirt okay of course uh, maybe someone want to say something yeah welcome all of you take the skirt where is the skirt here is the skirt i have to put it in the, inside the washing machine choose cold water i have to press on the blue button okay then turn on the power we are turning the power now it's green because it's working and now we are washing which uh, what are we washing now we are washing the purple or uh, this skirt we are washing the red skirt here okay now take the orange shirt i think it's this choose cold water the orange shirt here choose cold water yeah press here turn on the power i'm turning the power okay so it's working now and we are washing this we are washing we are washing the shirt fantastic okay i think that now about 50 students it's okay i i gave you a good chance to come jeans here yeah i choose it choose cold water this is cold water turn on the power okay you know the idea now and we are washing i think it's enough for this game and we are ready now to have something else okay my friends of course mr ali yesterday discussed with you the first the reading part of the lesson and i'm going to give you a very short idea for revision we revision now is divided into two parts the first part is to give a brief idea of what we have studied yesterday uh, what we studied yesterday sorry and the second is to discuss this uh, topic and questions and answers here is of course we are talking about uh, life in the north northern uh, part of Europe northern part of Europe and we are talking about the Sami people okay of course it's our book here English wallet class 4 okay my friends let's see where do the Sami people live they live in the far north of four countries sweden norway finland and russia that's enough some of them are called scandinavian countries okay my friends next 
How do these people live? The, sa the Sami people make trousers, skirts, and jackets from wool. Yeah, wool cloth. They are wearing blue clo clothes here. Look here, they are wearing blue clothes. Okay, my friends. What are they wearing? These clothes are national clothes. These are national clothes. And Sami people wear this clothing on special days, special days. Like here, of course, I'm going to ask you some questions about this, about Saudi Arabia. And I have prepared something for this. What is their language? The Sami people have their language, which have dialects. I know dialect, another form of one language. Okay, the Sami people have different uh, one language, but di in different dialects, like Arabic here, the Arabic of uh, people of Morocco, for example, have their own dialects of Arabic, which, dif which is different from the, ac the accent of Egyptian or Saudi Arabian ac people. But we still have Arabic language. The Sami people have their language, which have dialects, in Sami language, there are 400 different words that describe Renda. This is, of course, something strange because this animal, the Renda, is uh, really the main animal in their life. Okay, my friends. What is Renda's antlers? The Sami, this is the, here, this is the antler of the render, okay? Uh, the, Sami people, the Sami people were nomads and they followed the render herds. They carried needles, spoons, and knives from their antlers. They used these antlers for, to ma for making their tools. Thank you for, for the 54 students who are attending. Who are herders? Some herders use snow, sc snow scooters because it's fast just to follow the animals, okay? Of course, now I'm going to stop here with their national flag. So these people have their own national flag. Thank you. Now, I have something else after, I'm going to discuss this in questions and answers. Okay, my friends. Okay, questions and answer. As you see here, unit 11, the Sami people by your teacher, of course. Here is the idea is that I have, uh, frankly, I have 10 question, uh, 20 questions, but I'm going to discuss only six questions now. Okay, I, and I think they are enough because uh, we don't have much time. Okay, let's start with the first question, number one. Where do the Sami people live? Where do the Sami people live? Where, again, do the Sami people live? They live in the far north of four countries, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and Russia. Okay, look, give you the chance to look. Question number two, question number two. How do these people make their clothes? How do these people make their clothes? Well, check now. The Sami, the Sami people make trousers, skirts, and jackets from wool. This wool, of course, comes from the render or from sheep. Okay, so they used to make their trousers, skirts, and we knew, of course, we discussed before, we knew what is a trouser, what are trousers, what are skirts, 
uh, uh, what is a skirt and jacket and so on. We knew the words before because we discussed them in the warming up part. Okay, my friends, go again, go back. Question number three. Go to question number three. Okay. When do they wear their national clothes? I'll check whether there is a problem. No problem is here, good. When do they wear their national clothes? Lock. Sami people wear this clothes on a special days. Special days, special days like the feasts and so on. Okay, question number four. Question number four. What is strange about their language? What is strange about their language? I'll check now. In the Sami language, there are, there are 400 different words. Wow, 400 different words that describe render. Of course, too many words for one animal. Because their life depends on this animal. Okay, so of course, they have to name it in different ways uh, or in different words. Words, words, words as here. As we said, 400, remember this number. This number, of course, we are going to discuss it again. Question number five. Question number five. How did they make their tools, I mean knives, and so on. The Sami people were nomads, nomads, and they followed the render herds. They curved needles, spoons, and knives from their antlers. Antler, these are the horns of the renders. Okay, my friends? So they, they used, if also they used the render to make their tools like needles, spoons, knives, and so on. The last question, question six. Why do they use scooters? Why do they use the uh, scooters? Okay, my friend. They use the scooters just I'm sorry, here scooters, uh, we missed O. They are faster than sleds or skis. Okay, my friends, so we'll go back and we'll finish this. Okay, my friends. Now we have another thing. Of course, we are going today uh, to open our book just to show you something and then I'm going back. Okay, the book is uploading now. Uh, we have to wait for a little bit, okay? Until, of course, be ready with your box, page 110. Just to have just a look, I'm going to prepare these exercises in different way. Okay, my friends. Reading. Okay, this is the lesson and this is, these are the questions. Here we have eight questions and we are going to correct these questions. Okay, to make things fine, 
Okay, I'm going to read these questions and their answers in a presentation. Then we have here, okay, about uh, our country, okay, and our traditions and the way we use uh, and the, the, the different clothes we uh, uh, are used to wearing uh, in different occasions, in different times, in, spe in special occasions or special days. The car and we are going to discuss about our national flag. Then we have here these words. We are going to match them with the pictures. Okay, let's go now to discuss these in details, but in a way of presentation. Here is we call it true or false. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I have to wait for a little bit. Okay, my friends. This is the same, uh, this is the theme of your work, of your class book, okay? It's really found in your, uh, in your class book. Here, it, here is reading comprehension and vocabulary workbook, page 110. The same exercises, but I, I have done it in, in such presentation just to make it easier and, and to be fine. Okay, let's start my friends. Here is, open your uh, class box and be ready with me. Read the first part, four, Thousands of years, for thousands of years, the Sami people traveled across Northern Europe. Northern Europe. True or false? Of course, it's true. So the first one is true. Be ready with your class box. Okay, next. The number two, they made Tents and boots and boots from render skin. They made tents and boots from render skin. True or false? A lot of participants here. 51, yeah, great. They made tents and boots from render skin. Of course, it's true. Yeah. As I told you before, the render means their life. Okay. Thank you for the participants who are raising their hands. They can write the answers through chatting. They curved needles, spoons, and dives from their antlers. I'll see the chat now and I'll see the answers. Who, can, who is writing the answers? Thank you, Majid Al-Qahtani. Mohanad Al Harbi, excellent. Okay, Rashid, well done. Excellent, Rashid. Yeah. Saad Al Ghamdi, please write the answer and not just write nonsense word, words. Yeah, good. Saad Al Ghamdi, excellent. So a lot of participants are doing their best now. Okay. They curve needles, needles, spoons, and knives from the antlers. Of course, it's huh, true. Okay. Here is the second, the question number four. In the Sami language, look here, there are 40 different words for the render. Is it true or false? Is it true or false, my friends? In the Sami language, there are 40 different words for the render. True or false? Huh? Yeah, I'm seeing the chat now. False, wow, a lot of participants are writing false. Excellent, thank you. Thank you, thank you, I saw it. So it's false. Okay, but how can we correct this? 
look here down. I hide it here because it's not 40, but 400. 400 words for one animal, which is a render. Okay. Thank you for participating. A lot of students today, I'm, I'm really happy. They made hats and boots from render, okay, for fur, fur, sorry. They made hats and boots from render fur, fur, okay? This is the fur of the render. Is it true or false? Let's check true. No, mm. it's not from the fur, I know. Yeah, it's false. Okay, but how can I correct? I put the, cor the correction here, wool. Okay, wool. Yeah, I see the chat now. I see all the participants. False, Majid Saleh Al Qahtani. Adnan, false, yeah. Any participants? I'm taking your answer. Seriously, frankly, and I like your answers. I like your participations. Okay, thank you, Majid. Your, of course, Majid wrote the correction here, wool. Yes, Saad Dawood Al Ghamdi also. Thank you so much. Yes, great. I like it. Thank you so much. Okay. Question six, question number six. The woman in the photo is wearing a bell. The woman in the photo in your book is wearing a bell. Of course, ah, false or true, who can write to me? I'm waiting. I'm waiting for your participation. I'm waiting for you, your participation. Okay, look at the question and try to participate. Ah, huh. false, Rashid X, Y, Z. I don't know who, Adnan Al-Fadli, true. Okay, is there anyone else? Majid, where are you? Amir, okay, great. Some participants are raising their hands. Okay, 11 participants. Majid, great, Mohanad, great. Yeah, it's a good way to communicate by chatting, by the way, because sometimes uh, the sound or the camera uh, troubles us. Muhammad Abdul Aziz, true. Al Hussein Al Wahhabi, false. Excellent. Muhammad Al Qabbani, okay. Thank you, Adnan Al Fadli. Saad Dawood Al Ghamdi, yeah. Okay, we'll check now. We'll check now. The woman in the photo is wearing a belt, of course, it's false. And here is, I hid the correction, belt and gloves. Okay, my friends. Question seven. Now many savvy people live in towns and villages. Of course, it's uh, true. I'm running out of time. I'm sorry because I don't have a lot of time. So I have to manage the time. There is snow from December, December to May. Is it true or false? I'm waiting for your answers for, on this question. Huh, who can write? False, Majid. Al Hussein Ali, true. Al Hussein Ali, Wahhabi, true. Majid, false. Huh? Majid says false. Al Hussein says true. Ahmed Al Musim says false. Yes. Okay, what about? seeing the answer i for b i'll put uh, false but what is the correction i think i hid it here from november not december okay my friends so now i think that we discussed this part in uh, details but i'm going to move to another exercise the second exercise is about, I'm going back to this exercise again, about our country, Saudi Arabia. Here is the ask it as, of course you know better than me about 
the traditions, the habits of Saudi Arabia. I'm really happy just we have such wonderful flag. This is of course the flag of our great country. Okay? Who can write I love my country here? Who can write it first? Who can write I love my country first? Who can write I love my country? I'm waiting. Yeah, a lot of participants I think wrote it. So we all love our countries. Okay, me, 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 all of you, Rashid, me, great, I love my country. I love my country. Okay, great. I like your participation, frankly. Okay, so all of us, and for me, I love my country, and I love my second country, Saudi Arabia, and I love my first country, Egypt. And I, I consider uh, to love your country is uh, something Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked us to do. Okay, so this is our national flag. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay. Go on, my friends. We are going to... The capital of our country is, uh, is Riyadh, of course. The currency is Saudi Riyal. We mentioned SA. The climate is very hot. Religion, we are Muslim. Islam, of course, we speak Arabic. Of course, for clothing, for clothes, we were Besht, Gotra, and Akal. Yeah, I'm speaking about Saudi Arabia because here in our book, they asked us about uh, national clothes and about national flag and national occasions and so on. So I tried to brief it in such presentation. Clothing for women, Abaya and Faceville. Food, of course, I'm going in a hurry. Kabsa, dates and coffee, fresh fruit. We like it. I like, of course, to drink coffee in the coffee in Saudi Arabia. I like it. Here is we have some special uh, special day special days like Eid al Fitr, like Muslim counterparts in other nations. Saudi mark the final day of Ramadan or fasting. Uh, okay, by this the three days of Eid al Fitr. Look here, they are. Uh, celebrating Adolf Fatter and congratulating, congratu congratulate each other. Okay. Eid al-Adha, most, most Saudi families, it is most should be capitalized, celebrate Eid al-Adha by dressing up their finest clothes. And here is, of course, the finest place of Al-Masjid al-Haram in Mecca. Okay. Al-Masjid al-Nabawi also is a very famous place here. I like it so much. Peace be upon Prophet Muhammad, okay? Peace and prayers be upon Prophet Muhammad. One of the most important symbols of Islamic relig uh, religion of, so, of Saudi Arabia, Al-Masjid Al-Nabawi, located in, of course, in Al-Madinah, Al-Munawwara, okay? And here is Al-Ula. Yeah, I am in a hurry now. Masjid Al-Qiblatan. Okay, so we have a lot of places in Saudi Arabia and we, of course, we, can, we love our country. And if anyone asks us about our country, I can give him some information about my country. Okay. What about going back to another thing else? You remember true and false. The last question in your, the, the question in your class Yeah, this is, here is, we have matching. Match the pictures to the words. Okay, we are going to match these words to the pictures. Okay, so these are the same words of your class book, page 110. But I try to make matters easy by preparing such good presentations. I know you like this. Jewelry, jewelry here, where is it? Yeah, I match it. Pilt, look, where is the pilt? I think it's here, match. Yeah, great. Okay, fair, 
What is fair? Yeah, it's here. Fringe, this kind of things are called fringe. Yeah, now the parts which comes down, yes. Okay, and this is of course border. So we have now, how many words? We have five words, jewelry, okay, jewelry, built, puda, fair, fringe. Okay, you can write this word in, in two different ways, by the way, you can check, you can look it up in your dictionary, okay? Jewelry, jewelry here can be written without E, okay? And without doubling the L. Uh, we can write it in different ways. Okay, and this is fair, okay? It's different from for this a different on pronounce, pronouncing the word pronouncing the words French here and this is the border the border of our country the border of uh, our file limits here I mean here the belt of course something we we, we used to wear with our trousers okay and these parts these coming parts here are called French okay my friends now I think that I'm give, I'm going to get I'm going to give you the chance to match the words or to write the words under the pictures in your class book. Are you ready? Have you written them? Huh? I'll say who says yes? Who says yes? Huh? Have you written them? Say yes or no. Ahmad al Muslim, good. Mansoor Had al Fadli. Mansoor, you are one of the best students. All of you, frankly, I love you all. Rashid, yes, 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 good. Sa'i, Sa'ad Muhannad al-Harbi, Sa'ad Dawood al-Ghamdi, al Hussein al al-Wahhabi. All of you are good students. Muhammad al-Shahrani. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. Thank you. Okay, so after writing and matching these words, I have something else. I have something else. Well, let's, let's see. Okay, my friends. What do you have, teacher? Wait. Of course, after matching, we are going online. Okay, then, of course, I'm not going to forget my remedial students. Let's go to online and check what is online, what the, the teacher prepared for us to do online. Here is, frankly, I'm going to copy this link, this link, okay, copy it here, okay, then I'm going to put, okay, uh, to have your window here. And then I'm going to say, okay, we'll check whether it comes or not. Of course, our fine, fantastic, and um, wonderful uh, life worksheet. I prepared it for you. You know, these are, I put it in my account, and these are the same worksheet you have. And you have, I think, uh, uh, a collection of worksheets like this. You own it. But you can do it online easily. Just, just, I'll give you the link. Please, if you want to do your homework, please uh, Log into the school website. You will have this worksheet, the link, and you will you will do it at home, online, and then you will correct it by yourself. Sami people make their trousers from wool. Is it true or false? Yeah, true. I'll put it true or false. I'll have mistakes. Okay, I prepared it just to allow you to understand whether it's right or wrong. Maybe I have, ah, it's usually black. Here is, I think it's usually blue. So it's false. You have to read first, but I can't read now because I'm running out of time, but I'm going to send it to you. 
the cloth haven't any colorful borders, of course, it's false. Their, clo their, cloth, uh, their cloth have, of course, uh, some colors. They make not, bo uh, not boots, frankly, uh, not boats, but boots, sorry. And that's from, yeah. And uh, the same here. Ren, the, okay. I'm going to match Sami. Yeah, I mean from the Sami people. Hertz, yeah, like this. Number two is here. Factories, yeah. Now I, I told you that the Sami people are working in factories. Number three. Of course, skirt, no skirt, scooters, look here. Last time we missed the O, but remember, that's just a mistake, I'm sorry. So scooters here, yes, scooters, number five, okay? Scooters, great. Here's, where is, I, 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 I'll give you the chance to answer. Fishermen or farmers? Who can write the answers here on the chat? Fishermen or farmers? Fishermen or farmers? Who can write the answer? Mohanad Al Harbi. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. Mohanad wrote all the answers for matching the words. One, three, two, five. Okay. Um, um, we are doing this, Mohanad. We are doing this, Mansoor. Farmer. Mansoor says farmer. Okay, you are active boy, Mansoor. Far, mer. Okay, spoon or needle? Who can write the answer here? Yeah. Spoon. Good, my friend. Spoon. Yes. What's this? Huh? What's this? Who can write it? We have option radio or... Needle. This is a huh? radio. Yeah, Rashid, Mansoor, Ahmed, and so on. So all of you answered radio. Thank you. I'm waiting for your answer, your participation. I like this. This by this way, frankly, we don't have, we don't waste our time, and we don't have a lot of noise. Please write Muhammad Al Harbi. Write it in English. R A B I O. Okay. What's this? City or village? Wow, big buildings here. It's in the city or building. When we go to Mecca, we see these buildings for not it's not Age Ahmed, it's not village. It's a city, as Mansoor says, or as Rashid says. Okay, as Muhammad, I think. Yeah, city. Great. Okay, now what about correcting this worksheet online? Just press finish. Okay, and then press on this, check my answers, not email my answers. If you can email it to your teacher, but just check it immediately. Of course, we corrected all the, oh, wow, you are good boys, and I hope that you have good teacher. So it's 10 over 10. Do you think I'm going to finish? No. I'm going to have a very fine, you know, game for all the students, not only the remedials, which is called, okay, Nuh Ark. As you see here, we discussed today uh, comprehension questions, we answered them. We discussed uh, things about our country and we discussed what we matched with, with the pictures. We uh, tackled everything about uh, Sami people, their, li their, li their life, their habits, their clothes, and the way they live and their tools. And we said that about the same about our country. Okay. Also, we uh, frankly, I want to concentrate on animals here. Discussed clothes before. 
at the beginning of the lesson. And by the end of the lesson, we are going to discuss the animals. Okay, you can use chat to write. Here is what's this? This, this is a ship. I imagine this is a ship taken by Nuh, Nuh's Ark or Nuh's, Nuh, uh, peace be upon him, Prophet Nuh, peace be upon him, was a great prophet, of course, and uh, you know his story and you memorize Nuh Surat from Quran. So I imagine that we are, he's taking, uh, th this is the ship, okay? And we will see the animal, just a part of the animal. And I, I, I'll check your multiple intelligences. Okay, this is a monkey. What is it? A monkey, a tiger, a giraffe, a camel, a parrot. What this? Wow, who can answer? Who can, who can guess? What's this? Who can guess? Who can write the answer? A giraffe, great. Bravo. It's a giraffe. Great. You like this? Next. What's this? Who can answer? Who can answer? Yes, I, 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 I'm opening the chat now and I'm seeing a lot of students participating. Who can answer? Yes, one chat. Adnan Al Fadli active today. Rashid Mansour Al Ghamdi. Okay, what's this? An elephant. It's an elephant. Yes, great. Next. And what is it? A monkey, a tiger, a cow, or a parrot? What's this? Huh? Guess, look here. Who, can, who wrote the answer? I'll check. Monkey. <laughs> and then wrote Mu just to uh, be in a hurry. Muhammad Dajani, excellent. Muhammad Dajani, write the answer, complete answer. Yes. Faisal Salim. Okay, now Thamir. Thamir, please write the answer, Thamir. Okay, this is a monkey. Great. Next. What is it? A camel, a parrot? A tiger, or I can see it because of the program here. A crocodile, yes. What's this? What's this? Who wrote the answer? Yeah, tiger. Tiger, yes. Great, Adnan. Faris. Abdullah Sadun. You are an excellent kid. I know you. Class uh, 4 7, I think. Yeah, I know, Abdullah, Saad, Faris. I, I need more participants. Faisal Abdul Jabbar, you are a good boy. Please write the answer. I know you, you try you try to write it in English, but you just press Alt Shift and write the answer in English. I know Abdullah. Yeah, now Faisal Abdul Jabbar, you are, a, you are one of the best boys. Mishal, excellent. Oh, great, but Arweshid. A senate, excellent, excellent, thank you. So it's a huh, tiger. I imagine that myself, I am in a classroom, really because of this participation. What is it? Crocodile, a parrot, a cow, or a snake? I think it's, huh, who write it? I know the answer, of course. How can I write the answer now? What's this? What is this? Crocodile? No. Snake? Maybe. Huh? Just, it's a guessing game. Parrot, parrot. All answers are accepted. A monkey? Yeah. Rashid, Adnan, Abdul Rahman, Al Shahrani, Saad, Talal. Okay. Talal, please don't leave us, okay? We'll check, it's a snake as you see here. It's a snake. I'm running out of time. Only I have 10 minutes before saying goodbye, okay? And what's this? It's a cow. 
in a hurry. What's this? Maybe. No. Bear. No. Giraffe. No. Huh. Horse. No. Huh. Crocodile. Uh, for me, even me, uh, just a guessing game, my friends. We are just guessing. Okay. I think that's enough. Okay. But I'm going before uh, saying goodbye. I'm going to summarize what we have studied. Of course, today we started our lesson by uh, warming up, speaking about clothes and we and colors. Also, we have a summary on the, the Sami people, where do they live? I said in North Europe, and about their clothes, uh, about their language, they have 400 words for one animal, Randa. And of course, we discussed the questions in the answer page 110, okay? About everything about the, uh, Sami people, we discuss it in such questions and answers. Also, we spoke about our national uh, habits. We spoke also about the belt, border, uh, fringe, uh, the jewelry, and we matched them with the pictures. My friends, I'm really happy, okay, to be with you. Uh, thank you, Abdurrahman Rwesh, it says goodbye. Who says goodbye to me again? Who wants to say goodbye? Yes, all of you. I know that you are good boys and I like you so much. And I hope that uh, you are good participants and good students. Ten students are raising their hands now. Okay. Goodbye, Rashid. Goodbye, Abdullah. Goodbye, Adnan. Goodbye, all of you. Okay, Adnan Al Fadli, thank you so much. Okay. I, 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 I see now some students raising their hands, okay? And I'm really happy to be with you. And inshallah, I'm going to end the meeting. I promise, inshallah, to come back again on time as usual, every day. I wish you all the best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.